hand that had its work cut out for it was cut out for its work. Amaranth Borsuk is part of the new generation of poets on the University of Washington campuses. The UW Bothell assistant professor performs and publishes her work. I think of poetry as a close engagement with language. Her books are eye-catching and playful. As the reader is turning the pages, they see the poems begin to mutate and move. They grow like a flip book. Some of her books incorporate technology. She's the co-author of Abra, which includes an interactive app. All of the text is available to the reader to remix, to re-navigate, and to edit and make their own. So the text really wants to push away from our control of it as authors and belong to the reader, who can use the tip of their finger to prune away language, closing up holes in the text, to erase words out of the text. Her first book used augmented reality. Between page and screen was a collaboration with a software developer. It requires the reader use a web camera to access the content. The book Between Page and Screen doesn't contain any text. Instead, it has these black and white geometric shapes. The webcam deciphers those shapes, revealing Borsuk's poems. And it's only when the page and the screen meet that the poems appear. Dear P, I take your point. I didn't mean to cut, but it's my stripe, my type. I'd rather shear than share. The University of Washington has a rich history of poetry. A lecture auditorium in Kane Hall was named in memory of English professor Theodore Rothke, who won the Pulitzer Prize for Poetry in 1954. And then a gang of villains attacked you with an arsenal of sticks. Today's poets come from other disciplines. Troy Osaki is a UW Ethnic Studies graduate whose recent composition, Year of the Dragon, evokes the memory of Bruce Lee. I was born in the year of the dragon. Do you see the boy in the corner? Yeah. The one with the prettiest blue eyes. Another spoken word performer, Nikita Oliver, is a graduate of the UW School of Law. Her video poem, Black Lives Matter, was recorded in front of Susalo Library. To remind myself that my life matters too. The room cannot hear the manifest. Although they share their work using 21st century technology, today's UW poets, like their predecessors, are artists and wordsmiths. I always say to people who think poetry is not for them that they just haven't found the right kind of poetry yet, that there is a poetry out there for any reader. But the hand was not depressed. It had simply forgotten the metal sheen that drew it to screw itself up in the first place.